if you're black and you feel like moving away from the U.S. to Latin America is a better way of lessening the racial inequality and prejudice, you might want to reconsider this decision. This Mexican auntie describes the experience bad for black people in Latin America. She brings to light the harsh traumatic experiences faced by Mexicans who are much darker in skin tone and likens that to the lived experiences of people in the black community. In simple terms, if Mexicans discriminate against their own kind, then you will most likely face this too. And to give you a comprehensive understanding of how this looks, just look at telenovelas featuring beautiful palm colored blue eyed Mexicans with the indigenous actors as maids and of the lower class. Indigenous actors of course being those with darker skin tones, but this discussion doesn't go on without fueling or sparking some perspectives on online. We're going to take a look at this auntie's video, what people think about it, and you leave your own thoughts in the comment section and tell us whether you think she's making it up. Black people will be discriminated against in a Latin American country. If you're leaving America to get away from discrimination and you're moving to a Latin American country thinking that you're not going to be discriminated against, you're wrong. I've been hearing a lot about people that have moved to Mexico and are complaining that they're being discriminated against in Mexico. Let me tell you something. Mexico discriminates against their own Mexican people that are darker shade than the rest of them. <coughs> in Mexico, there's a lot of states that have very fair skin and blue eyes people. The people that have indigenous features, the very dark skin, the black hair are discriminated against. So you coming to live to Mexico and think that you're not gonna be discriminated against, it's a fallacy. This is not just in Mexico. It happens everywhere in Latin America. Black people are discriminated against. In Honduras, there's an entire community of Garifunas. And Garifunas have been in Honduras for hundreds of years. And to this day, they discriminate against them. They remove their land. Some of them even get murdered. It's a battle Garifunas have gone through for decades with Honduras because Honduras to this day does not recognize Garifunas as part of being part of Honduras. And so I grew up looking at Garifunas as if they were subculture, subhuman. I'm telling you, you think that you're leaving the U.S. and moving to uh, a Latin American country to, to escape racism. You're not escaping racism. And you, you need to understand that that's just the way things are. And um, it's very acceptable. Those of you who are coming on TikTok complaining that they're in Mexico and that they are embracing the Mexican culture and why are they being discriminated against? That is why. Mexico people discriminate against their own. What do you think it's gonna happen when you're there? In fact, in Mexico, if you don't have light skin and blue eyes, first of all, look at the telenovelas. You tell me, what do you see in telenovelas? You're only going to see beautiful people with light skin and blue eyes. You're going to see some, some indigenous people. The vast majority of the roles they give the indigenous uh, actors is of the maid. It's of, you know, it's never the pretty woman. Yeah. How many actors do you know in Mexico that are in a telenovela and they happen to be black? Just look at the telenovelas and you tell me how many how many indigenous uh, actors and actresses you're going to see in those telenovelas. It's the it's the reality in Mexico and you need to understand that. 
you're not escaping racism by moving to a Latin American country. Ma'am, I know you fine. You did not get it. Yeah, we black. We already deal with race. You know, we deal with it all over. But baby, did you get up on Beyonce's internet and start pour pouring Miralax in your coffee? This is just a shit situation, bro. And then you poured it in your coffee. And I'm allergic to coffee. I know coffee already makes you want to take a shit. And you just poured a cat full of the Miralax. The last thing you need to be worried about right now is who's being discriminated against. Your butthole is about to be discriminated. I'm talking about spicy diarrhea. Talking about black people poor. So I hate the internet, bro. I hate the internet. It's true. Black people. Go back and watch that creator's video. She's absolutely correct. But what she cannot speak to is systemic racism. Those are two different things. Being discriminated against and having policies and procedures and laws put in place to keep you systemically suppressed and depressed in your country to keep you from progressing. Those are different things, right? Right. So, I'm trying to put my phone down. <laughs> so, if you are planning to relocate and you want to escape systemic racism, then yes move abroad. If you want to have a better chance at elevating your life and, you know, experiencing a life of more peace and ease and, you know, just more opportunity of just being, then yes, move abroad. You will not ever escape discrimination. There are going to be people who will discriminate, uh, discriminate against darker complected people everywhere. Anti-blackness is everywhere but having laws policies procedures in place to keep you systemically depressed are not everywhere okay so discrimination you cannot combat that is just mere ignorance but having things in place to keep you from progressing in life that is not everywhere now classism in the rest of the world is everywhere do I disagree or agree with that? I absolutely don't agree with classism. That is when you have more money than you are preferred. I disagree with that. So she should have clarified, but she can't necessarily clarify on something that she hasn't experienced. Being a black person, being from the United States, having experienced systemic racism, I can speak to that. And here in Mexico, where I live now, I am not discriminated against specifically on my color of, of the color of my skin and um, sorry I was trying to take a shower when I saw this video so I had to like stop what I was doing but yeah uh, she's correct but there's more context to that and unfortunately the context she can't speak to because that's not her lived experience I being a black person I can that is my lived experience so if you are still planning to move abroad as a black person, do it. If you are still planning to move abroad as a darker hued person, do it because you will be able to experience a life of more peace, ease, and people are just going to not bother you because of the color of your skin. You are not going to be systemically oppressed because of the color of your skin. In the States, there are laws, policies, procedures in place because of the color of your skin to keep you oppressed. Housing, police brutality, education. <laughs> I mean, I can just go health care. I can go on and on. Access to food. I mean, access to quality food. I mean, can we go on and on? Please. Bro, now listen to this woman, man. I'm telling you, I've been to Mexico. The only problem I had in Mexico was the police. Because the police are like, they'll try to extort you. That don't matter. If you're just a foreigner, they'll try to extort you. But as for all that race stuff, bro, what I've noticed is you got a lot of foreign, like, immigrants that come here and they become either they're born here and raised here or they're just raised here or they've been here for a while. And so they get indoctrinated in that anti-black shit. And then they'll tell you, oh, my country's race too and you can't go there. No, bro. They're really hating because they know their country's not racist. And so they're, what they're really doing is trying to, like, kiss more ass from other people, bro. I'm just going to tell you the truth flat out, man. Because what I've noticed, going to Colombia, and I've, I've, 
I know I've, I've gotten to with Colombian people online, but they were all American, bro. Or uh, Hispanics and stuff. They were all American. Asians, they're all American. Ain't no Asian person from that country or Hispanic from that country is talking about, oh, yeah, we don't like black people. No, nobody says that shit. Nobody be like, nah, man. Da -da 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 -da. Bro, they don't care about your color or your race over there, bro. They don't listen to these people, bro. They're really mad and they're really jealous because you can go there and you can make it and you can chill and you ain't got no problems. They don't like that because they've been so indoctrinated and they feel like, well, black people shouldn't have any kind of happiness or do anything. I've noticed about the racism in America is really like that, bro. It's like... You don't even have to be doing it. If you have anything that's, like, nice, bro, these people will hate on you. How did you get that car? How are you wearing this? How are you doing that? How can you afford this? Da -da 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 -da. Bro, they, like, I've seen it a lot in America. It's crazy. It's like, bro, you don't even have to do anything to these people. And they'll still try to pick pick a fight with you or something. Or, or they'll try to say some fly stuff. And then they'll be like, oh, oh, why are you getting, uh, uh, And then they'll try to call the cops on you. And, like, bro, like... Do not listen to these fake Because a lot of these people aren't really from there, bro They're not They can't go to these countries You really think this woman can go to that country And they really accept her as being like a Mexican from Mexico? No They're going to look at her weird They're going to be like Man, you're American Be quiet You know what I'm saying? You can't speak for us I've seen it I've been there I've been to multiple countries Y'all don't These people don't speak for that actual country, bro They're there They're look they're related by heritage. That's just where their people come from, but they're far removed from that culture. I've noticed that. I've gotten to with little Asian chicks. She was like, "Yeah, they don't like black people over there." And you see all these black dudes married over there. And like, I, I got, I got a lot of friends in the passport bro community. I'm a passport bro. You got, I got a lot of friends in the passport bro community. They're married there. They're like, nah, I ain't like that. They're just saying that. They're trying to fit in with the culture in America, and so they're trying to like be like, oh, because what's happening is. Pretty much black people are getting success. Black men, especially, are going overseas, finding whatever they want to find, a, a, a relationship, better, like, living and whatever. They don't like it because they're like, oh, well, that makes us look bad because that makes it seems like we ride with the black people. So they try to, like, they don't make this for you, bro. They make that for them folks. That's who they make it for. They don't make it for you. They're not trying to be, like, warning you and all that. They're trying to make it for them people. Like, yeah, we, we really don't like them either. Yeah, man, they're going over there. I hear this complaining and stuff. Really on the cool, a lot of the complaining you hear from the community when it comes to black people is from the women. Because, like, a lot of these women go over there to other countries with this mindset of women in America and thinking they can go over there and act the way they act in America, and then they'd be like, oh, it's race over here, blah, blah, blah. No, you just can't act like that over there. Like, no one tolerates that, that type of stuff overseas. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't even matter where you go. You can go to Africa. You can go to Latin America. You can go to Asia. Yeah, you can go to Europe. You go to Italy, they're not going to play with you like that. They don't, they don't, they're not trying to hear that. You know what I'm saying? All this and all that combat, man, ain't nobody's, like, you Foreign people, like, when you go to these countries, they don't, like, what I've noticed is Americans are very, like, emotional, needy, and have to be right all the time. And then they have, and Americans, we have a habit of trying to tell people what to do. You know what I'm saying? Well, well you should, da -da 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 -da. and these foreigners check you. Nah, bro, mm -mm, you need to go back to your country. We're not trying to hear that. You're not coming over here, and you're not going to dictate anything. And these women are finding out, they're like, oh, well, you can't do it. Like, but most of the men aren't, they're not having no problem, bro. Philippines, uh, uh, Thailand, Colombia, Brazil, none of that, bro. Like, nobody's having any problems. Now, they're saying, oh, well, you go over here to my country, they're going to, that's not true, bro. Well, I mean, you can look at my past videos. Like, I've, I've, I had to check these people because, like, it's just like, you're lying. You live in, like, most of them live in California. Like, when the little Asian people, yeah, they, they lived in California. They were running their mouths like, oh, y'all going over there. They don't really want you, blah, 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 blah. And they really hate you. And it's all like, bro, these people are over there. They know more about that culture than you actually do. And that's your blood. That's your heritage. That's just sad. You really just came over here, sold out, thought you was, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to hear that, bro. Like, do not let this misinformation get to you, bro. Like, for real, bro. Passport bros, we up. Do not listen to this misinformation. They're trying to spread this old, oh, everybody's racist and they hate black people. No, bro. Do not believe that, bro. I've been, especially in Columbia. I've been there 10 times, bro. I go there every year, like, every year, like twice a year. I've never met any, like, racist stuff. The only thing I've met was, like, some, some stuff from, like, 
foreigners. That's just mainly what you're going to meet the race. Like, I had a French dude trying to be racist. He's selling all the chicks. Hey, man, don't mess with black dudes. Da, 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 da. Bro, it's going to be foreigners that are going to be racist, bro. And she's a foreigner. She's not, like, she's talking about you go to Mexico, they're going to be racist. You're not even really Mexican. Listen to how she's even talking. You know what I'm saying? That's what you got to realize. Even in Texas, I realize that, like, most people that are immigrants from here, that are born and raised here, or raised here, they don't act the same as the people that's actually from there. You know what I'm saying? The Hispanics, they don't act the same at all. They're just, like, two different people. So don't listen to this misinformation. Don't listen to this hate. Because what she's really doing is not really about warning black people. It's really trying to side with them people and be like, oh, yeah, we really don't like them. They're lying about it. Yeah, man, just just peep game, bro. Mexican aunt might not even be a Mexican after all. Yeah, this is the deception of the modern age. But I think uh, one big question is what could be making people from the black community get out of the U.S. and maybe even want to travel to other countries? So the big issue, the most big issue, it's, uh, has to do with safety and discrimination, how to desist and all that. Now, many black Americans are seeking to escape systemic how to desist, right? And that is the objective, uh, or rather that is the main focus of this video, that uh, how to desist that black people are trying to escape and the violence that comes with that and all that. Now, high profile incidents of police unaliving and racial discrimination such as the unaliving of George Floyd, Ahmed Aberry, and Breonna Taylor have intensified these concerns. Now, the other reason is because of economic opportunities, because we all know that the economy is pretty bad, right? So everybody is trying to look for that greener pasture in their life. So some are moving abroad in search of better economic opportunities and the lower cost of living, of course, countries like Mexico or Mexico, Costa Rica, and Portugal offer a more affordable lifestyle compared to many parts of the United States. Perhaps that's one of the reasons as to why this palm colored now i'm calling her palm colored she's not really mexican yeah that's one of the reasons as to why she doesn't want black people to move to move to mexico right the life there is better and she knows that if black people moved outside uh, her and the rest of our palm color friends are not gonna have that entitlement or privilege that they've been enjoying but at the same time they're still gonna they are still gonna maintain that but i guess palm colors just like to see black people suffer right that's that's perhaps the reason why she's trying to uh, prevent black people from traveling there now the other thing is quality of life so the desire for a better quality of life including access to healthcare, education and more relaxed lifestyle is another significant factor we all know that healthcare is pretty expensive in the land of the free We've covered a video on this now many find that countries like ghana senegal and panama offer a welcoming environment and a sense of community so people might want to travel not just to mexico but to other countries as well such as ghana and senegal as well as panama right all over the world there are things that you've never seen before there are experiences that are ready for you to explore now the other two points are cultural connections as well as political climate so in terms of culture black americans are drawn to countries with rich cultural histories and connections to the african diaspora now when it comes to politics the political climate in the u.s has also played a role events such as the 2020 election and the overturning of roe v roe v wed had led some to seek stability in a different political environment abroad now i don't really know how progressive the art of the cyst is in terms of the indigenous people of mexico the so-called garifuna people that this palm color woman described in the video but i want us to look at some of the things that they are likely to face because of their difference in terms of melanin and all those things that this palm color woman was talking about so in terms of historical context the garifuna have a distinct history as an afro indigenous group which sets them apart from other mexican communities so that could be one of the reasons as to why a hard discussion was even been more focused on them and perhaps she was trying to draw the the similarities of the experiences of this girl funa people to uh, to black people from the black community now their origins in the caribbean and central america combined with unique cultural practices often lead to a sense of otherness the garifuna also maintain a rich cultural heritage including their own language music and spiritual practices now these cultural differences can sometimes lead to social isolation or segregation as they may not fully integrate into the broader mexican cultural landscape the girl Funa are primarily concentrated in Central American countries like Honduras, Belize, and Guatemala. In Mexico, their population is relatively small and dispersed, which can contribute to a lack of visibility and integration. So the Garifunas often face socioeconomic challenges like everybody else, including limited access to education, healthcare, and employment opportunities.
opportunities. Now, the reason why I'm pointing to this group of people or the group of black Mexican people is because this palm colored seems to be drawing whole points from them as if they are the ones uh, that are approving or that should show that black people cannot survive in the Mexican environment. All right, so they also do face some of those hardships. But as we've heard from that sister, it's very different and it's very less, right, compared to the art of the cyst in the land of the free. Now, racial and ethnic discrimination, uh, as an Afro-Indigenous group, the Garifuna may experience discrimination based on both their African and indigenous heritage. Now, this dial layer of discrimination can further isolate them from other Mexican groups, but that's just something that we wanted you to be aware of, right? Because all the time when somebody is drawing conclusions from something, we have to ask the questions as to why they're talking about that. Now, that was just a did you know moment. You can leave your thoughts in the comment section and tell us what you think regarding today's discussion. Do you think this palm color Mexican woman uh, was just trying to make up those claims and just trying to prevent black people from traveling there because of the things uh, that we've discussed? I'll see you in the next video. Please like, share and subscribe. Signing off. Goodbye.